Hello, it's Haiju. Some people have been saying that Sonny P2 was right about criticizing leading to the downfall of Mr. Beast's channel. I disagree with that. Here's why. Basically, what happened was a year ago, Sonny P2 uploaded a video about Chris Tyson being the transgender. And basically, by him being the transgender, that's going to lead to the downfall of Mr. Beast's channel. Yeah, that's basically the summary of the video. People were saying that, oh, Sonny B2 was right about Chris Tyson. The reason why I disagree with that is because he wasn't right. How was he not right? Because it was for the wrong reasons. Sure, he was right about Chris Tyson basically now leading to the downfall of Mr. Beast's channel, but the reason why he was wrong was because he said it was because of him being a transgender. And that was not the reason why. Although Chris Tyson is a transgender and Mr. Beast was showing him in his videos, Mr. Beast was still getting a lot of views. People still like Mr. Beast. People still watched him, although Chris would be in the videos. A I'm going to say Ava. Chris Tyson goes by Ava Chris Tyson, but you know, I'm just going to call him Chris Tyson. So, and the reason why people are bringing this up is because of the new Chris Tyson situation where, you know what happened. Basically, he took, I'm not going to say took, but basically what happened was he got child porn from a guy named Shadman. Now, like, Basically, it was a drawing of a child, like a naked child from Shadman and Chris Tyson got the drawing. And then there was a video that showed Mr. Beast sitting on the couch. Basically, Chris had this picture, this drawing, right on the wall and Mr. Beast was right there. And people was like, why didn't Mr. Beast do anything? Like, Mr. Beast saw it, why didn't he fire him a long time ago? But we don't know what Mr. Beast was thinking at that time. But the new accusation about Mr. Beast, I don't know. After I say what it is. But I'm going to explain this next situation. So there was that situation with the Shadman thing. And Shadman, he's a disgusting man. He drew a drawing of King Star, eight-year-old daughter. It was crazy. This happened a long time ago, and it was crazy. So the next situation with Chris Tyson, he got caught talking with a minor. Yeah, you guys suppose we're talking about well, minor. Lava. So the guy Lava, who's 20 years, he's 20 years old now, but at the time he was 13 years old. And so he basically said, oh, I wasn't grown. And Chris was just making a few edgy jokes, which I was like, a few edgy jokes. We saw um, what Chris said to him in the, in the Snapchat messages, and it was inappropriate. And the guy was talking about, oh, it's just a few edgy jokes. It wasn't just a few edgy jokes. And even that's the case, oh, he was just joking. He's, he was an adult. And Lava was a minor at that time, so it was wrong. Lava was 13. Chris was 20 years old. Come on now. And he was saying, oh, I'm coming for America. You get coming for America. He told this to a 13-year-old boy. Come on, are you serious? Are you serious? So Chris was wrong for doing that. And then Chris tried to be like, oh, Lava said that he was a girl, so this shows down right, guys. I'm like, come on. No, it doesn't. It don't show that you're right. And what I know is that when Chris, you could say he apologized for it, but he just apologized for, oh, the edgy jokes I made. He's like, oh, I didn't, sexually, I didn't talk sexually with you, just edgy jokes. You know, that's all he was basically saying. And I was like, what? Come on. So, there's that situation. And then there's a situation where Chris Tyson shared porn to children on Discord, a Discord server. Come on. That is illegal. You can't show children porn. An adult can't show children porn. That is just sick. So, there goes that situation. And then also with this, people are accusing Mr. Beast of being in a Discord server where Chris showed child I'm going to say child boy. He showed porn to children. If that's true. I was going to watch this video about Pegasus. About, I watched a video about Mr. Beast yesterday. About faking giveaways and all that. And basically what happened. Mr. Beast got exposed by a former employee for script dance videos. So that happened yesterday. But Pegasus just released a video today. You know where he's. I guess he's going to talk about 
Mr. Beast getting exposed for being a Discord server where Chris Tyson talk with minors and show them porn. I was gonna watch it. I haven't watched it today, but I'm gonna watch it today. And yeah, the reason why I'm bringing this all this up is so that I can explain why Sunny B2 just was not right about Chris Tyson. He was right by leading to a downfall, but for the wrong reason. So yeah, guys. And I also, the reason why I also wanted to talk about this stuff, because I wanted to get my thoughts about it. I talked about a song that I made, but I haven't made like a regular blog and talked about it. But it's honestly just a disgusting situation. Chris is a disgusting guy for what he did. He is set for talking sexually with minors. That's not good at all. And then not only was he talking sexually, though, he talked sexually about them on his tweets. And then after a backlash, he got, you know, as always, you know, people, when they get caught, they delete all the posts or delete most of the posts when they talk about that type of stuff. But it was already too late. People already got the tweets from X and basically showed them in their fields and stuff. And the guy lied, but I just don't understand him. I understand people maybe like, well, Ty Drew used to fit them and stuff, and he was a 13-year-old boy. But at his age, 20 years old, I feel like he should, he should know by now that he did get exploited. And then... What I didn't like was that he tried to accuse a Chio and Sensitive Society of talking about him and making a lot about him. But in the, on the tweets that was on S, the tweet that was on S, he didn't show anything. The fields he showed by them were fields where they didn't even talk about him. Like they were talking about the Shadman situation. They didn't know about this situation with him yet. So I didn't understand why he did it. I don't like that guy a lot, but I understand people may be like, well, he was exploited by Chris and all this, and he was basically ruined and stuff, but does that mean I have to like the guy? No, I don't like Lava. Because here's my thing. You're talking about this situation where you say, oh, people are lying about me. I wasn't groomed by Chris Tyson. Well, it's like he was defending Chris Tyson, and then Chris Tyson used what Lava say to be like, oh, yeah, I, I told you that I was right. I told you I didn't groom him. But what I noticed was that Lava already spoke about that. Why didn't he speak out about the situation where Chris, you know, got child porn from the guy Chapman? So then it also makes me wonder, is Lava a predator? I'm not saying this is true, right? I don't want to throw accusations that I don't have proof about. Like, oh, this person did this and I don't have proof. Now, unless I know that it came from a reliable source, that's a whole different situation. If I know somebody's reliable, they're honest, and they told me something, okay, I can believe that, right? But I'm not saying that he is, but it's just that you wouldn't be surprised if he is because I just don't understand. You say that you didn't get groomed by Chris. Why won't you speak? It's like he basically defended Chris, right? But he don't want to speak out against what Chris did in the Shadman situation. Wow. So, you accuse people lying about this, but you don't want to say anything about that? Come on now. So, I, I just find that strange. So, you want to speak out about that, but you don't want to speak out about the Shadman situation? And ever since that tweet, I think he's been quiet. Like, I haven't heard anything about him. Maybe he has been talking. I just haven't heard about him. But I just honestly think that that's crazy. But I know I've probably been talking for a long time. But the reason why I've been talking for this long because I wanted to get my thoughts about the Chris Tyson situation too. And Mr. B is just a scummy guy. Like, come on. Like, why do you have to ruin it, man? You are a philanthropist, man. You're doing all these good things for people. Why do you have to ruin it, man? Why is it that hard to just be decent? Like, I just don't understand. Why is it that hard to be a decent human being? I don't have to... Of course, like, with some people, right? I don't have to agree with them on everything they do. But, like... Come on, man. Like, I watched a video about him from Pegasus and, you know, with the Mr. Beast employee scamming. I mean, Mr. Beast employee exposed to him and they saying that Mr. Beast um, fake giveaways, had a friend forge his signature on Mr. Beast's merch to make it seem like it's Mr. Beast. And I was just like, come on, why would you do that? And... I understand that some people may say, well, you can't always accuse people of stuff without proof. And well, there's actually proof that, like, we saw the feel of his friend forging signature on the Mr. Beast merch. We saw that. The fake giveaway, the giveaways, that's one thing, right? Okay. 
We don't know, right? But Mr. Beast hiring contestants who are his family and friends and making it seem like they're strangers, that's deceiving. And Mr. Beast shouldn't have misled his audience. Honestly, I don't mind Mr. Beast faking the seals. I don't care about that. Like, the peers are entertaining. So, a lot of people are not going to care, right? But the thing I like is Mr. Beast lied about his feels being real. Like, oh, all my feels real. It's like, come on, you don't have to lie, man. Mr. Beast, you're a really good channel. You don't have to lie about that. So he lied about that, he misled his audience. It reminded me of the air rat situation. Remember where he misled his audience into thinking all of his videos were not scripted or planned out and all that. Come on now. But that was that situation. Um and yeah, this whole Discord thing, this is true. This is just said, Jimmy. This is crazy. And honestly, even if it is true, which it is sad, he's still going to get a lot of views. Like, he's a really big channel at this point. He's going to get a lot of views. And Rosanna Panasino spoke out about Mr. Beast, like, a lot of months ago when she talked about him basically making it seem like she wasn't in, top, in the top three. Um... And you know, at the time it happened, a lot of people was like, what's the big deal? Because we thought, oh yeah, Mr. Beast is a really good guy. And it's like, what's the big deal? Okay, he made it seem like you were in the top three. You didn't win the challenge. So why why is it that big of a deal, right? That's what people were thinking. I was doing the same thing. Why is it that big of a deal? But now I look back at it, I was like, oh yeah, I can see what she was talking about. Because I looked at it from her perspective and I was like, I can understand because I, I felt like it's just a game of high hide and see why is that big of a deal that's what i thought about it but and then i thought oh you didn't win why is it that big of a deal but basically in the game of hide and see she was in the top three i think with quasity too right but mr beast made it seem like she was in top three and basically edited that out or something i forgot what happened but basically made it seem like she was in the top three and like she lost earlier than she did and yeah that is messed up to do jimmy but yeah but yeah, guys, I just wanted to give my thoughts about people saying that Sunny B2 was right about Chris Tyson, linked to downfall of Mr. Beast's channel. I want to give my thoughts about the Chris Tyson situation of him talking sexual with minors and getting child porn. Then I wanted to talk about Mr. Beast getting exposed. So yeah, guys, just wanted to give my thoughts on that and tell me what you think about it. Do you think that Sunny B2 was right about Chris Tyson? Tell me what you think. I'm out.